Hello everybody and welcome to episode 7 of the Little Black Cat Knits podcast. I am your host Ashley coming at you from New Jersey where I live with my husband, my two sons, and my little black cat. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Etsy as Gaddy Yarn Co. and on Ravelry as AM Gaddy. There is also a group for this podcast on Ravelry if you just search for Little Black Cat Knits Podcast, it should come up. Um, if you don't feel like searching for any of those things, links to all of them will be in the description box below. Um, yeah, I think that's all the admin today. Show notes for this episode can be found on the Ravelry group. Um, it is Monday. March 2nd, 2020, and it's been a week since the last podcast. Um, and let me tell you guys, I've gotten a lot of knitting done. Didn't think that was going to happen. thought my knit mojo was gone after finishing Keith's sweater, but nope. Just rocking along on all of my knitting things. Um, so I have no FOs this week to talk about. Um, I do have um, a couple different whips to talk about, as well as acqui some acquisitions and some future projects and things. So I guess that being said, we'll just jump right in. And I'm gonna just pull these whips out in like no particular order. Um, just basically what's closest to me and then we'll move backwards. Um, so the first whip I have going is in this Lila Styles bag, which how amazing is this? Ah, oh, love it so much. As if you know anything about me, we know that Halloween is like 99% of my personality. So you know, just ah, oh, little Jason, it's my fave. Okay, anyway, <laughs> living in this bag is a pair of vanilla socks for Keith. Um, they're actually technically a half finished object because one sock is done. And I am actually on the foot of the second sock. Um, I use since these are a worsted weight sock, I use the Rye Pattern by Tin Can Knits. Um, for the sock, I just don't do the garter stitch panel in the front because Keith does not like that. He had a pair like that and he was just not a huge fan. So every time I knit him worsted weight socks with this pattern, I just completely eliminate the, uh, the uh, garter ridge. Sounds like... Bruce is upset about his video game or something down there. Okay. Um, anyway, I am knitting these out of Loops and Threads Impeccable in the Rainbow Bright colorway, which Keith picked out himself. <laughs> um, and it was weird. I thought I was going to need two skeins of this because the, the yardage on it is like not a lot, but I think I'm probably only going to need one which is nice. Yeah, probably. Um, cause I have about this much left in the skein. So that should be fine, which means I have another pair, another skein, which means I can probably knit him another pair out of the same colorway. Um, yeah, I thought I was, I was going by the yardage in the pattern, which is why I thought I needed two skeins. But then I remembered Keith really hates long legs on his socks. So I don't really like to knit the worsted weight socks in like shorties because I feel like they've like, don't fit right so I give him like a short leg on it and it's only like 20 rounds for the leg or something but anyway moving right along um the next whip I actually live living in this spider-man tote bag um I'm just uh there's a little story behind this one so I may or may not have talked about this like episodes ago um but Bruce asked me to knit him a Spider-Man blanket and um, I did and I you know, started on it and I got pretty decently far um, but I'm using all Red Heart Super Saver yarns in 
the red, blue, and black colorways, and I don't know, I kind of came to a decision this past week where I've decided that if I want to knit, like if I want a blanket, I'm just going to crochet it. I'm not going to knit it because as much as I love the look of knitted blankets, it's just so many stitches and they take so long to complete that I, I do not have the patience. And when it comes to a blanket, I want it to be easy. Like I want to be able to just sit down and do my work on it and not have to worry about like getting burnt out on it or anything like that. So, um... I asked Bruce if he would be okay with me ripping out the knitted Spider-Man blanket and crocheting it for him, and he said yes. So that is what this has become. Um, I'm nowhere near, you know, I just started it a couple days ago, and I kind of um, just been, you know, trudging along. It's going to get pretty big at some point. <laughs> um, and, uh, but yeah, this actually is... Pretty sure it was a free pattern, but I don't remember. Um, it is the Superhero Dreamcatcher Afghan, especially for Spider-Man fans, by Stitch and Frog. Um, so it looks like that's what it's gonna look like when it's finished. Um, clearly not there yet. Um, but yeah, I've just been kind of you know moving right along on this. Um, it's been great because I've kind of just been wanting to like work on something like mindless and this once I got the stitches like the stitch um, pattern stitch repeat pattern down I've kind of just been it's been so like easy to work on I'm like oh my goodness so yeah this is whip number two this has been getting a lot of attention the past couple days because like I said I've just I wasn't, I, he wanted this blanket so bad and I was not about knitting it. Um, I'm also using a five millimeter hook for this. No idea what letter that is. So yeah, that is that. Moving right along. This one I'll talk about last. Eh. Alright. Next on the little whip parade here, living in this bag that I made for myself. Um are my Twas the Night Before Christmas socks by Danielle George. Um, I finished the heel flap and gusset and I'm on to the fit. So just trudging along on these, I'm knitting them on size uh, US1 2.25 millimeter nine inch Chiago circulars. My favorite for knitting socks. I'm using doing the 72 stitch count the pattern and yeah so this is coming along beautifully I cannot wait to get them done um, I'm knitting these out of loops and threads perfect pair in the glory days colorway you think I would know that by now with how many times I've talked about these socks um, but yeah these have just been you know moving right along nothing too crazy I, this used to be my mindless project now Bruce is Crochet blanket is my mindless project. I'm finding that I've been like leaning toward crochet a lot more lately than knitting, and that's okay. I'm cool with that. You know? Just doing my thing. Okay. Oh, sip of my seltzer because I am thirsty. Um I guess we'll just keep going. Keep going on the whip parade. Um, living in the giant hot topic bag, as always, is the Hogwarts A Mini History by Megan Regan that I am knitting for Bruce. Or also, uh, Megan Regan, you may know her as Bad Wolf Girl. Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits. My goodness, I can't speak. Anyway, um, I am knitting this out of Loops and Threads Impeccable in the Bright Sky Blue and Citron colorways. And I have completed the color work yoke. And I've separated for the sleeves, and now we are on to the body. Now, I know this looks huge for my four-year-old, and it probably will be, but that's okay, because he will just be able to wear it longer. I'm, I have no problem knitting things for the kids a little too big, because then they get more 
seasons out of it. It's not just like, oh here, wear it for like three months and then I have to pack it away. Um, but yeah, so I'm just trying to run along in the stockinette portion of this. Now as if you are new to the podcast, um, I did make some changes to this pattern. It is initially calling for fingering weight yarn and the first time I did it, I more than likely read something wrong <laughs> um, or I used the wrong needles or like, you know, maybe I should have gone up a needle size, maybe I should have, I don't know. I don't know. It for whatever reason, it came out too small in the neck hole for Bruce. So I decided to use a worsted weight yarn this time, sticking to the smallest size in the pattern, following numbers, measurement, all that. Exactly the same, I'm not changing anything like that wise. Um, but yeah, so he picked out these colors. I knit the neck double, um, what it called for, because I am planning on folding it in half and seaming it down. Although, when I'm looking at it, I don't know. When I'm when it's done, I'm gonna have to have him try it on and then decide about what I'm gonna do with the neck. More than likely, I'll probably fold, uh, fold it down and seam it down, but so yeah, this is the Hogwarts a mini history. And Bruce loves it. He picked out each chart. I let him, you know, decide which ones he wanted. And yeah, this one is just, he has picture day on the 20th of this month. Um, and he really wants to wear this on picture day. So I'm going to try my hardest to um, make sure this is done for him for picture day. Um, I am, because I'm using a worsted weight yarn, I am knitting these on US size 8s and then US size 6s for the ribbing and whatnot. So, yes, that is that. Um, last but not least, on the whip parade, is the sweater I've been designing. Now. If you watched the podcast two weeks ago, I discussed how I saw the movie Knives Out and I was obsessed with the white cable knit sweater Chris Evans was wearing and I could not find a pattern for it, so I decided to design one. And I ripped it out like five times. So, uh, the math is finally correct. And I'm moving right along. And everything is looking hunky-dory. We've got cables and cables and cables. And then uh, Keith and I decided to watch Knives Out the other night because he had never seen it. And we had the, you know, HD digital copy um, that our friend let us use on her Voodoo account. And we were sitting there watching and I realized that the stitch pattern I have picked out for the center panel does not match the stitch pattern of the center panel of the sweater in the movie, which means I'm going to have to rip this out again. I'm gonna cry, you guys. I, 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 I want this sweater so gosh darn bad. Um, and I just, it's really, it's killing me. Um, that I can't seem to get it together with this. It's it's the it's just the center panel that has been really like throwing me off um, on this. I'm just really quick looking for um, pictures of him in this sweater um, to see if I can. get some of your help with this because if I can't figure out this center panel I'm gonna lose my mind and I have spent hours upon hours upon hours on Pinterest and Google trying to figure out the center panel for this sweater All right, so see the screen caps are like kind of grainy. Okay, so that is the center panel. 
Now I was looking at it and then I found, oh, here's a better one, here we go, here we go. That's what the center panel is supposed to look like. Now, if any of you know the stitch that makes this, please, for the love of God, comment it in the comments for me because I can't find it anywhere. Um, but as I was, you know, I'm looking at it and then I found a free um, pattern um, that, that had a center panel that looked like this. So I was like, oh, perfect, there's the stitches. And I pulled it up and it kept saying, oh, it's the honeycomb pattern, it's the honeycomb pattern. And I was like, started doing the honeycomb and it doesn't look like that. I really don't want to rip it out again. Like after, like I really just want to find this stupid center panel. <sighs> hopefully, hopefully won't like one that's the same amount of stitches and then I won't have to like rip out the ribbing again. Maybe I'll just have to rip out to the last row of the ribbing and go from there. But <sighs> if any of you any of you know that stitch pattern, please, 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 please leave me a comment and tell me what it is. Um, because I can't, and like, I consider myself, you know, a pretty good knitter and, you know, I kind of figure things out on my own most of the time, but I don't understand cables enough to be like creating my own cable, if that makes sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, um, anyway, I'm designing this out of uh, Red Heart, Red Heart Jumbo in the Aran colorway. Um, the ribbing was done in on size US 6 needles. The body will be done on size US 8. So this project and Bruce's Harry Potter sweater have been sharing needles. Um, and yeah, so until I figure out that center panel, um, this is probably going to be in timeout again, but it's fine. I'm in no rush to get it done. It'll get done when it gets done, but oh boy, this thing might be the death of me. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much all I've been working on. Um, I don't have any cross stitch this week because honestly, I can't remember if I did any work on any stitching since the last podcast. I may have, but I really don't remember. So I didn't want to pull out my cross stitch and have it be in the exact same place it was last time you guys saw it. Um, but moving right along into um, future projects, if you will. Um, I have this God, uh, blanket here <laughs> that I've been working on on and off. Jesus, for I don't even know how long at this point. And it's, I'm knitting, it's ridiculous is what it is. I'm knitting it on size like US, US 50. And I was working on it and it's like using like chunky yarn and I was like, hold it, held double. And I'm like, you know, I don't know. I pick it up, I work on it. And then I'm like, I don't really, like it's so like, you know, I don't know. And as we know, I just said about how um, they really only want to be crocheting blankets. So this is actually going to be ripped out and split into two separate projects. So this gray here, which is uh, Red Heart Boutique Boulevard in the penthouse colorway. I have five skeins of that. I'm actually going to be ripping that out I um, and I'll show I got some stuff for this in my acquis acquisitions, if I could talk. Um, and I'll talk about that when I get to that. Um, but I, uh, <sighs> where am I going with this? Okay, yes. So I <laughs> am ripping this out and I'm going to be using the gray yarn for this Outlander Claire cowl. 
It's a free pattern on Ravelry um, by Louise Bellanos. And um, yeah, I've been like dying. I've been watching Outlander like crazy. Um, I just started season three. Um, but yeah, I've been kind of like dying for every time. Ever since I saw Claire in this cowl, I was like, I need that. Um, so I figured this is the perfect thing to use um, for this cowl to knit it, you know, because I'm ne it's never going to get used if it keeps sitting in this stupid blanket. And on top of that, I have like five or six balls of this white Bernat baby blanket in the white colorway. Um, and I was watching um, Bella Coco's crochet channel and she posted a tutorial like like one day this week I feel like or well, last week actually technically um, for like a super easy baby blanket and my brother-in-law and sister-in-law are due in July and they're not finding out what they're having um, and I am planning on making a quilt for them for the baby um, and it's gonna be my first ever ever quilt and I'm really excited about it. I just have to find like the perfect fabric and just order like bite the bullet and order it. Um, but until then, just in case I don't get the quilt done in time, I wanted to have another blanket for the baby. Um, so I figured as soon as I saw the Bella Coco posted that tutorial, I watched it and I was like, hey, I have yarn like that upstairs in a blanket that's never getting finished. So, um, yeah, it's gonna get ripped out tonight. I'm probably gonna start the baby blanket tonight because it should work up relatively quickly and then I'll just um, wash it when next time I do Paul's laundry with the baby detergent and then pack it away um, probably in Paul's closet um, with the other baby things <laughs> until um, the baby shower rolls around which I'm, I think it's gonna be in June. Pretty sure that's what my mother-in-law said but who knows. Anyway Either way, I have to start it now for the baby shower before the baby's born in June, July. So those are two future projects because I can't. this blanket, I'm not even kidding. I, I'm pretty sure I've had this gray yarn since I started knitting. How old is Bruce now? Bruce was going to be five. So that's like almost six years ago now because I started knitting when I was pregnant with him. And it's been like three different blankets enough is enough. I'm pretty sure I'll get more use out of the Claire cowl and then you know so that is a two future projects right there. Moving on to acquisitions which I'm also going to talk about another future project in here so two more future projects. I got a lot I want to get done guys and I still have to do those two sweaters for my best friend's daughter but I'll get to that. Gotta finish Bruce's sweater first. I think I have this new rule of thumb now where I'm only gonna have like one sweater on the needles at a time with the exception of the sweater I'm designing. That's just kind of be on the needles until it's done. But like, as far as like active, like knitting sweaters for people, I'm only gonna have one on the needles at a time because I can't take it. I get overwhelmed and then nothing gets done. And then I'm forcing myself to focus on one. It's just, it's nonsense either way. Those sweaters won't get started until this sweater is done, but I anticipate this being done relatively soon. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. I'm all over the place today, guys. I am sorry. Um, acquisitions. I went to Michael's today. Oh, okay, here we go. I spent a lot of money at Michael's, guys. It's bad news bears. Where can I put this where it's not like in my face? It's gonna go right here. Okay. Whoop, moving stuff. Don't mean to do that. All right, so let's let's jump in here. Um, now that I am crocheting this Spider-Man blanket, um, I have a feeling I'm gonna need more yarn. So I just picked up one more red and blue um, of the Red Heart for that. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. Um, my friend Nicole asked me if I could knit her aunt um some really comfy like slipper socks almost um for while she's going through chemo um so I 
initially had like one sock pattern in mind when I saw it. I was like, those look like really comfortable socks. Um, but I just, Michaels just did not have the yarn for it. So instead, I'm probably going to do what I do for um, Keith's vanilla socks, usually like the rye pattern um, without the garter ridge. And then you in this Bernat baby velvet. And this is in the Hopping Hydrangea colorway. I saw it and it looks really blue on camera. What is that? It's really pretty, like, why does this look so blue? It's so weird. It's actually like a really pretty pale purple. I don't know why it's showing up so blue on camera. Um, but it's uh, squishy and soft and super duper comfy. So future project acquisition. These I'm probably gonna get started either tonight or tomorrow also. Um, so I wanna try to get them done as quickly as possible um, so I can send them out to Nicole. Um, okay, let's keep going. Um, so for that baby blanket that is going to come out of that, or not baby blanket yarn once I rip that out, I got two balls of Bernat baby blanket in the Seafoam colorway because like I said, they are not planning on finding out what they're having until the baby is born. And when I spoke to my sister-in-law about color schemes and themes and stuff, she said she wanted to do lots of grays, whites, teals, mint greens. So I saw this and I said, it's pretty perfect. So this is gonna go with that white and that blanket is gonna get worked on. Um, that's probably gonna live in that bag and then I'm gonna have to find a new home for the gray yarn in there to put in another bag for the Claire Cowl. Too many things, guys. It's too much. Um, now, my last acquisitions, no, oh, no, wait, my last yarn acquisitions, I should say, are for a, another, blanket pattern um, <clears throat> that I found on Pinterest and it is a free pattern and it is the Lion Brand Heartland Flag Afghan. Looks like this. Um, and yeah, I'm probably gonna get started on that soon-ish. But, um, so I bought yarn for that. I've got, oh my goodness. Well, now there's less in here. Okay, back of it. Okay, um, got three balls of Heartland in the Redwood colorway. Um, this is actually the colors I bought well, the Heartland that I bought for this are the call for in the pattern. Um, because it is an American flag afghan, I wanted it to, you know, stick to those colors. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got one ball of Heartland in the Olympic colorway. And then it called for um, another colorway of Heartland in like a white. Uh, it called for two balls of that. And one is missing. I'm gonna have to check the car. Um, but they didn't have the white, so I just picked up um, Red Heart Soft in white because the texture of the yarn is pretty much the same. So um, that's that. There should have been two skeins of that, and I'm, I'm gonna have to check the car. I don't know where went. Um, and then I got um, some size. US 19 circular needles for that Claire cowl and a size USL 8 millimeter crochet hook for the baby blanket. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as far as crafty things go, um, that's all you came here for. Just realized I never said in the beginning of the podcast that this is a podcast about knitting and crochet and crafty things, but if you've made it this far, you already know that. <laughs>
Guys, I'm telling you, I'm all over the place today. Um, but yeah, if that's all you came here for, as far as crafty things go, thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Um, now I'm just gonna do a little bit of chatter. Talk about life. Nothing uh, too crazy has been going on. Um, Paul, we used to have him in his crib with one of those um, like strap things to keep him from rolling over in his sleep. Um, and uh, cause he, he wasn't that great at getting from, like he could get from his back to his stomach no problem, but like it was taking him a while to get from his stomach to his back. And now he just rolls all over the place. Like I can't stop him. Um, <laughs> um, so uh, yesterday for the first time we dropped his mattress to the lowest um, it can go and we pulled the strap off and he slept through the night without being strapped down and I only got up to check on him like 10 times um, I, I spent most of the night staring at the baby monitor because I worry um, but he did great so that's good um, Bruce has just been, you know, in school, and uh, they celebrated Dr. Seuss's birthday today, which he was very excited about. He came home and he had to go steal green eggs and ham from Paul's bookshelf so he could read it. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I went to Michael's today, as we know. Um, Keith hates letting me loose in there. We rang everything up. He was like, $85 on yarn. I was like, listen all of these things are going to be made into something like soon so um but yeah i mean like that's pretty much it i don't do anything really like i said we watched knives out um the other day and uh keith totally predicted the ending but he's also really scary with that stuff like anytime we watch any kind of like murder mystery type thing or anything that has like a twist ending like or something like anything that requires you to like figure something out he calls it and I saw knives out in theater so we he like we got close to the end and he pauses it and he goes okay I'm gonna tell you what I think happens and then we're gonna see if I'm right and I'm like okay you no know, he told me what he thought happens and he was right I, I didn't tell him that though and then you know we finished the movie and he was like I called it I was like stop please <laughs> it's actually kind of like he does that all the time, drives me nuts. Um, but yeah, I think we really haven't done anything crazy exciting. I mean, we had my one brother-in-law and my friend over Saturday night for some board games. And I love board games. Um, I actually just reorganized my downstairs closet to fit all my board games in. So it's been very boring here. Just a lot of knitting and crocheting and life. And yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. That's everything there is to talk about um yeah um so yeah if you like this podcast and me give it a thumbs up hit subscribe if you would like to continue to come back and hang out with me and chat about knitting and such um don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when i upload a video um which is typically tuesdays and wednesday or wednesdays depending on when I get time to edit. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and chatting about knitting and crocheting and crafty things today. And I will see you in the next video. Happy knitting. Bye.